So I moderated a panel at NWSA on gender, race, and class in documentary filmmaking. And uh, I think a highlight of that panel was Jessica Devaney uh, showing clips from the film that she worked on about Israeli and Palestinian peacekeeping efforts and solidarity, and in particular the role of women in the peace movement on both sides and how documentary film can be used as a site of solidarity. I did a panel today on uh, contesting maternal, uh, contesting narrative writing in maternal studies, and uh, we talked about whether or not autobiographical writing, narrative writing, has any uh, transformative potential in maternal studies. And so it was a really a very lively discussion and uh, pretty exciting stuff. I was on two panels. One was today on Saturday on girls' transnational feminisms, and that was fantastic. People were talking about girls doing transnational work. Um, I spoke about um, working with girls actually in the U.S., not so much um, transnational. And I spoke specifically about the work I do with Right Girl in Los Angeles, as well as what I call empowertainment programs, to borrow Peggy Ornstein's term, and programs that really empower girls and programs that don't. Um, I also spoke yesterday for the Girls and Their Allies Caucus, and I was a pan on a panel with Lynn McHale Brown and a few other scholars, and we were talking about the state of girls' studies today. And so far, what has been the most inspiring panel? Um, that I've been able to attend um, has been, you know, I'm really excited about, there's a woman who speaks on um, trafficking rhetoric, anti-trafficking rhetoric, and she talks about how it removes agency from the people who are um, considered victims, and it's really interesting, it's really exciting to finally see somebody address that, because as a feminist and a former sex worker, I find it really insulting, a lot of this anti-trafficking rhetoric, about how everybody's a victim, and we need to save them, and they really don't know what they're doing. Most of the time, they don't realize what they're doing is wrong, and I mean, it's really obnoxious. So it's wonderful to see somebody addressing that finally. Um, I went to a great one on subversive body practices where people talked about um, different body practices with body hair, with pregnancy, with uh, breastfeeding, with all kinds of different um, body practices that women participate with and um, how they can f feminize, not feminize, but rather um, turn these into feminist practices. I'm really impressed with the, uh, the, the variety of topics that are covered. Um, I'm impressed with the diversity of the crowd and the topics. It's, it's much more than I expected.